I'm David L. Cohen, Executive Vice President of Comcast Corporation, headquartered right here in Philadelphia, and you're watching Unscripted. Innovation. Technology. We live it, we breathe it. It's a part of our everyday lives and it's constantly changing. Due to its heavy price tag and numerous socioeconomic factors, many of our inner city youth do not have the privilege to receive a 21st century education, which causes them to fall further and further behind, leaving them in the dark. To change and transform these inadequacies, a TV producer from Philadelphia recognized the need and discovered a solution when he was inspired by our friend's award-winning program. It's non-traditional style of intensive technology training through the use of multimedia helped give birth to this innovative program called Empowering Students Through Multimedia. When I saw the program, I just kept thinking to myself, imagine if that type of program was in the inner city. Yeah, you're from the inner city, but you should have the same opportunities every other kid had. And we wrote a whole curriculum, thanks to Mr. Tully, of giving you guys multimedia tools to learn off the iPad. The school board came at uh, Mr. Tully and myself and asked us to write a curriculum. Um, to give students the opportunity to learn multimedia tools to help them the rest of their lives and it came about thanks to the School Board of Philadelphia. Thank you for our first sponsor, Channel 17, to give us the opportunity to kind of give these kids a chance. The philosophy of the program is let the kids work and unfortunately I even though in my background of going to school and becoming an educator was all about what you can teach the kids and I think there's just a shift in the paradigm of how we have to approach 21st century education. I think what works in here is that the kids are doing the work. We facilitate their learning. We give them the opportunity. We provide them the tools necessary to be successful. But it's the kids that are doing the work. Empowering students through multimedia allows students to learn key essentials on how to communicate and market themselves on the web with video production skills through the use of the iPad 2. The iPads and TV or commercials and never had the opportunity to really touch the iPads. You know, a lot of inner city youth because of different reasons, they don't have the opportunities and we gave them the opportunity and it's been the program that changed their lives. I think this could be a great start for any kid. I think the tools that we provided for them, the ability to reflect, write journals and reflect about their learning experiences, the ability to use the iPads to curate their own learning, giving them the advantage of learning technology that's advantageous now, this is the things they need to do now, I think gave them the power. To help facilitate and carry out this educational mission, Christopher Tully enlisted the help of some former students. Being a, a facilitator in this program is a pretty surreal experience for me because I only graduated two months ago and being able to reinterpret all of the information that I learned in Mr. Tully's class to these kids in grade nine when I didn't even have that opportunity in grade nine is an amazing, surreal experience for me. Just graduated two years ago and I kind of know how they're feeling and what they're going through, not knowing what they want to do. So it's, it's really exciting and it's, it's motivating for me to know that I can teach these kids and motivate them to um, feel better about their future. We helped teach the kids how to correctly use iPads, correctly use technology and to benefit them and to think about their future and how this can help them to succeed in life. It was good that I had this opportunity because I would have probably been like sitting around playing video games or something, but this opportunity I thought about my future. I got to use good technology and some of it is involved in what I want to be when I grow up. It's like very encouraging and it also pushed me and it also got me thinking more what I want to do in life, so it made me learn more. Today we're working on creating a podcast for the iPad. Um, they wanted to talk about the specifications of it and at the end they wanted to talk about how it is good for education and how you can uh, implement it into teaching curriculum which is exactly what we did. Technology shouldn't be shouldn't be a luxury. You know every kid in every school should have the opportunity to have a computer lab with the most up-to-date equipment to be able to go on old net and do research of what they want to be when they grow up. It shouldn't you shouldn't have to go to the library. You should have it right at your house. This educational program success is only limited to what these students can learn in the classroom because when they go home, many of them do not have access to the internet or even own a computer. 
causing the digital divide to worsen. To help bridge this gap, the Comcast Corporation, which is the country's largest provider of residential broadband internet service, recently launched a phenomenal initiative called Internet Essentials. What Internet Essentials does is it enables the young people who are being exposed to digital literacy training and to these types of programs in a centralized location to be able to take what they learn um, in those programs and to bring it home where they'll now be able to have affordable access to the internet um, with, a, with an affordable piece of computer equipment that will enable them to exercise the skills that they're picking up in other programs that might exist. The Comcast Corporation knows that by providing affordable internet and computer access at home, it will contribute to a better education, help further their career development, and give students the technology empowerment they so truly need and deserve. You know, we live in America. We're the, even, with, even in this recession, we're the richest nation on earth, we're the, we're the most developed nation on earth, we're the most technologically advanced nation on earth, and we should be able to figure out a way for those kids in Northeast Philadelphia to have the same opportunity to exercise those technology skills at home that my kids have, and that a lot of other kids who live in wealthier communities and in suburban communities have. And that's, that's the reason for our passion around bridging the broadband adoption gap, bridging the so-called digital divide. Because until we can figure out a way to equalize those opportunities, then we're, we're cheating a good portion of our next generation um, out of the education and the engagement and the technology skills, not only that they need to compete for jobs when they get out of school, but that they deserve to compete for those jobs. Well, the technology they're providing, it definitely it gives them an opportunity to market a lot better because there's learning how to use technology and then there's learning how to use technology the right way. And that means using like Facebook property, using iPads properly to market yourself, market your business, and market your personality. And I think that's what uh, a lot of these kids are missing out on and I'm really happy that we're able to actually communicate that to them. I think too often uh, we stand in front of the classroom as educators and we want to be the one on disseminating the information when you wouldn't believe the amount of stuff that we can learn from these kids. This is a movement that's not just one and done. Uh, these 17 kids had the opportunity of a lifetime uh, while other kids on the street having fun. They're learning different tools that whether they want to be a doctor, whether they want to be a computer engineer, whether, whatever they want to do in life, they're going to have the opportunity to say, you know what, before I went to ninth grade, I learned multimedia tools off the iPad that helped me the rest of my life. Empowering programs like these are essential. They provide 21st century education along with the technology that will break down socioeconomic barriers in schools and at home. It will allow our young generation to focus on their future and make sure that no one will ever be left behind.